Tatum, Seton Hall is one of our partners and, and Dr. Joe Nyer, the president, has been on Lessons in Leadership before. We have a long history with Seton Hall. Uh, women's sports slash its connection to leadership. Is there a connection in your mind between sports and leadership, leadership and sports? I absolutely. I think the the lessons you learn through sport, I think as a female student athlete, especially, it teaches you confidence at a young age. It teaches you how to connect with others, how to find mutual viewpoints, finding problem solving solutions. I think sports are a natural avenue. And I think for women, especially young women, it's just, it's a natural connection to leadership. Why especially young women? I think sports provide an avenue, as I mentioned before, to be more confident. I think it's an outlet that feels sometimes more natural and you learn how to participate in a team setting, how to provide whatever you bring to the table. You learn what your strengths are quickly. You have coaches that help mold and identify what those strengths are. And I think it provides that sense of leadership and confidence at a young age that really drives other areas of life and other areas of whatever these young women are looking to pursue. This edition of Lessons in Leadership is made possible by the Bucino Leadership Institute at Seton Hall University, Prager Metis, Valley Bank, the International Union of Operating Engineers Local 825, the North Ward Center, the New Jersey Sharing Network, Delta Dental of New Jersey, Kessler Foundation, Veolia, resourcing the world, and Seton Hall University, showing the world what great minds can do since 1856. This is Mary Gamba. If you want more leadership tips and tools, log on to stand-deliver.com. That's stand-deliver.com.